YouTube, it's Miranda, and in today's video, I am showing you how to get heatless curls. So it's actually like three or four days later after filming this video, and I haven't washed my hair since. It is hair washing day for sure, but I wanted to show you how the curls hold up. I also realized I never filmed an intro, so I needed to do that, but it was a perfect opportunity to show you the curls and how they lasted. So my hair is a little knotty. I haven't brushed it yet today, but I wanted to show you that the curls hold up really well. These are my favorite pieces right here. I love these little curls in the front. But look, I think they are so pretty. They last so much longer than if I heat styled them. And I 10 out of 10 recommend this. I know it seems silly, like why would you curl your hair with a bathrobe strap? But I'm telling you, it works. So those are just a couple of things I wanted to tell you before we get into the video. And if you want to know how to get heatless curls with your bathrobe strap, keep on watching. <laughs> in my bathroom in my pajamas. I just wear like a t-shirt and pajama bottoms to bed. Anyway, all you need for this is a brush or a comb and then some scrunchies and your bathrobe strap or string or belt or whatever you call this. Yes, your bathrobe strap. I brought the bathrobe for dramatic effect. <laughs> you get the point. So we are gonna be using this to curl our hair overnight with no heat. This is something I saw on TikTok and I've already tried it twice. The first time I tried it with my hair soaking wet, like I took a shower and then put it in what I'm about to show you, woke up and the curls were disgusting. They were awful. They were really, really tight and like kind of crunchy, like just not, they weren't like pretty full curls. The next time I did the technique I'm doing today and they came out beautiful. I love them. So. Here we go. If you don't on TikTok, girl, today's the day because I love TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok at Miranda Roseanne. It's just fun. Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna brush my hair out real quick so that there's no snarls. And my hair is all brushed out. I'm going to wet my brush now and just make my hair a little bit damp. Not a lot damp, just a little bit. Just so that the hair will dry in the curl formation, but it will fully dry instead of kind of, when I had my hair soaking wet, it was just, it was just no good. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. Next, I'm gonna split this in half on both sides. Then I'm gonna put the bathrobe strap over my head. Make sure it's even, because you don't wanna have like one really long side. Just like this. And you're gonna feel really silly, but it works, I promise. So now I'm just gonna tie off this side so it stays in place while I work on the other side. Okay, now for the fun part. All you're gonna do is take a piece of hair from the front, you might need your brush so that everything lays smoothly. Take a piece of hair, wrap it around the bathrobe. You can do you can do kind of a good sized piece of hair, like this much, that's probably like a two inch piece of hair. Take that and wrap it around the bathrobe. Then when you get it back to the front, grab another piece and bring that with it as you go around the next time. And we're just gonna keep doing that until we've wrapped all of this section of hair around. So I've done all of that first section, now I just have the other half of the hair to do. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping this around, make sure I get all of these curls going the same direction and then we'll start on the other part. Okay, I'm just gonna tie this off for a quick minute. And now we're gonna work with this section of the hair. I'm just gonna brush it out once more. Okay, so now we're just gonna take this next section, the other half of this side of the head, and do the same exact thing. Except this time, we're gonna go the other way around the bathroom strap. So this section of curls went this way around, and these ones are gonna go this way. So they're gonna make like a crisscross spiral thing. So I'm taking my first piece, I'm gonna use this size piece. Again, you can do a good size piece. Okay, I'm gonna wrap that around. As I come back around, I'm grabbing another piece and wrapping that around too. Just continue the same pattern the whole way around. Now just take the scrunchie and then tie off both sections together. It's okay if you have some little tails hanging off because these curls are nice and soft so it's not gonna leave like a harsh kink or anything like that. And it's okay if you have loose pieces in the back. I've had that every time and I still love how they come out looking. Okay, time for the other side. I'm just gonna repeat the same exact process on this side. Okay. 
Just another little tip, I definitely recommend using scrunchies versus like a normal hair tie because the scrunchies are a lot softer and they're not gonna leave harsh lines in your hair. So you are gonna look 1000% ridiculous and that's okay because it's worth it, I promise. I will be honest, it's not like insanely comfortable to sleep on, especially because I like to sleep on my side, but you can get over it for the sacrifice of beauty. All right, I'm gonna wash my face and go to bed and I'll catch up with you in the morning. Okay, hey, good morning, I'm back and it is time to see how this went. So literally all you're gonna do is undo these. And same thing on the other side. So when you first take it out, it looks nuts and kind of bad. So you have to work with it a little bit, but your hair's already curled. So to me, that's a small price to pay. Basically, I'm just running my fingers through. They definitely relax after a little bit. You can brush through them if you want. Personally, I like crazy curls, so to me, it's super fun, but I know people like a much more softer look. So all you're gonna wanna do is like pull the curls down a little bit. Run your fingers through and pull them down to settle them a little. I'm putting this OGX coconut oil spray just to add some shine. I'm gonna brush it and show you what it will look like brushed. See, it definitely softens them up. I definitely think that this style resembles natural curls more than curling iron curls. Um, natural curl people will probably disagree. But after a few minutes of working with it and getting it how I want it, this is how I like it. I actually like it to be really curly. Like I'm not afraid of big, poofy, curly hair. So to me, this is really fun. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this style down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you try it? Honestly, this is like my third time doing it. And I actually will continue to keep doing this because I think it's really fun. <laughs> And I like that I wake up and my hair is curled. All I have to do is mess with it a little bit like I just showed you and then it's done. Here's the full look from the back with the ponytail. Curl up the pony down, it's up to you. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video. Follow me on all my socials at Miranda Roseanne. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!